camera, uh, but I'm seeing a lot of that sunshine too, and that is not going to be good for uh, thunderstorm development. Temperatures 87 degrees here, and it's 12:15, so it's hot. It is sticky. Uh, there's no escaping that. I will say though, in Williston, the dew point is actually a little bit lower. We're looking at them pretty much in the uh, 60 degree range, if not the upper 50s at this point. But you can also see the east wind too, and that's something else called wind shear that we're seeing because up aloft, our winds are out of the south, and that's pushing in some higher humidity and that's some spin in the atmosphere that we don't like. Now the tornado threat is very, very low for today. Not going to rule it out. I think there is the possibility, but again, very, very low. Instead, our big threat today will be from a couple of frontal boundaries, and we're looking at one kind of moving along the international border here into the northwest. Well, I think those are going to be the first storms that fire up in addition moving into an area full of sunshine right now. So that's moving into a favorable environment. Uh, what's going on in Mobridge does look like it fizzled about, but uh, we could see more of those storms also pop up uh, again from our frontal boundary later on. But we're looking at a level two, and since we spoke this morning on Country Morning Today, our level two has now actually expanded to cover to the west of Williston, to the west of Dickinson. That was kind of the cutoff point, and I fully agree with this just because of that same frontal boundary. It's going to get more of a push as we lead into the three o'clock time frame. That's central time. That's when I think we're going to start to see those fire up. So download the First Warn Weather app right now. Just go into your app store on uh, Apple or into Google and just type in First Warn. You'll get your hour by hour forecast, map out some of those storms, as well as the seven day forecast and alerts when those warnings do get issued and they will get issued later on today. So by three o'clock, we're going to start this whip in some of those showers and storms. That's where we're going to start to see them. Just continue the blow up potentially as we go into seven o'clock. Now talking about threats. Well, I would park in the garage, your car, because we're going to kind of max out with golf ball sized hail in addition to 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, for those in Williston, Watford City, Minot, hail is going to be your biggest threat there. Then the thunderstorms drop all the hail, then it turns into more of a wind event by the time it reaches Lake Sakakawea right around sunset, 8 o'clock this evening, if not a little bit beforehand. Well, this same system is going to keep moving along to about midnight before it crosses Bismarck Mandan Highway 83, then it keeps going to the Jamestown area between there and 2 a.m. There's still a chance that we're going to have some lingering rain showers and thunderstorms right behind it, but between then and 7 a.m., we'll see that all fizzle on out. Now, even despite all of that, it's still going to be very muggy tomorrow morning and tomorrow.